Syncreting with syphilis is synonymous with soliciting saddle sores, solidified souvenirs of sultry, subrosian, suffixal suitors, soundtracks of surely sour grapes in the sordid southern hemisphere, submerged in the sea through seepage of stark nakedness. Sun sundials striking in stagnant staccato, stopping sterilized stigmas when suppositories with syphilis suggest seven cisterciums for superpositioning on said self supinity, severing their suspenders in sensual psychification. Shallow are the seas or synchronized swimming of syncopatic syphilitic semen from shapeless, sharp soiled, sharp -soiled sharp suitors surfing on the sound bites of soft soap, unshading their subhuman soulmates. No mo! No mo! Go mo! No mo! Sophisticated sweeties in sweatpants, stunning, sunning in solar flare she snicker at snake charmers, snarling, snide and sneer and snap, back snub, snow, balling me, snuggling with snorkel or scantily clad as like scavenging for scabies. Seismic sensational scepter, stiff and soaring, sucker descended, succulent, swatting the sack ascent and surfing the seven seas on skin flicky skiffs, these skull duggers, scruffy skitters of six scrotums. See the smarmy, smooth-spoken s'more gas, whatever gasmic surface murfs with serums of seashore sensationalisms. See horses of sacrilegious, sickening salami shops will salam at the shrieking sound of syphilitic sex tuplets. <laughs> And the final poem has a bit of a backstory to it. There's a, uh, there was a, a 17th century Icelandic poet called Aire Topi, uh, Mad Topi. He was a farmer and a blacksmith. And uh, he, was, he, he started off his career as a sort of more or less normal sort of Icelandic farmer type poet. Uh, and uh, but one day there was a group of travelers coming by his farm and uh, uh, they wanted to know where to cross the river nearby. And uh, he threw forth this little quatrain, sort of, like to tell them where to go past the river. And uh, but the thing is that that uh, he was apparently having a bad day or something, so he gave them the wrong advice. So they all went to the most dangerous part of the river, and they all drowned and died. And um, in the 17th century, poetry was seen to be a gift from God, and uh, God did not particularly appreciate uh, what the topic was doing with the gift that he'd been given, so he took it away. Uh, but Toppy was a very stubborn man, so he kept writing. <laughs> and uh, what I did is I took, I went through the works of, of Aide Toppy and I took the, uh, all the nonsense. There, there are bits of stuff that makes sense in the work of Aide Toppy. There's a sentence here and a sentence there. I took all of that out and I took all of the, the nonsense and I made a collage of, of all the, the nonsense. And this is it. Tacklar, 